What internet marketing expert should you spend your valuable time listening to? Listen to someone who has over 20 years of web marketing experience and hundreds of website marketing success stories. That man is Aaron Sparks from Site Strategics. And this is Edge of the Web Radio. Today on the Edge, we're covering one main topic, and that's the update that happened uh, to the search engine Google. Uh, that may affect your website rankings on key terms that uh, your site's being found on. We're actually covering several articles from Danny Goodwin of Search, search Engine Watch, Jason Demers of Search Engine Journal, and Adam DeJong of HubSpot. So let's get into it, shall we? You all sound so excited over there. We're waiting on you. <laughs> all right, well, check this out. Pe- people's livelihood depends on on variances in the algorithm algorithm of Google. All right, Doug, why is that so important? It's because people don't call up your store anymore or call up right. your business anymore for business. Mm-hmm. The first thing that they do is typically they go search online. And I think it's about 90% now of people that, that take action yep. with a business. The first <clears> thing <throat> they do is get online. And, and the search engine is the first place that they're going. Yep. They're using that as the yellow pages. Yep. And no, 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 no one first words uh, the, the yellow page environment. But... They're comfortable in their desktop or their second screens whenever they're watching TV or their, their, their cell phone to look up somebody's address, look up some information. So that search engine is being used so much. We had the highest highest amount of searches just back in March this year, 2.3 billion searches in one month. People are using that tool. And if your site's not there being ranked with a particular key, key terms that reflect your business then you're just not found and, and another competitor is eating your lunch. Right. So uh, when <clears throat> when Google rolls through a number of, of changes, they're doing this because they're trying to eliminate so many type of exploitation of the algorithm that, that, that engines that the engines use to be display these organic results. Yeah, Google Google wants to provide the best result to their user. That's right. And if they need to make a change to their algorithm <clears throat> to provide a better result for a certain search terms, that's mm-hmm. what they're going to do. So last year, uh, this time last year, uh, April 24th to be exact, uh, Google rolled out a, an algorithm change that was nicknamed Penguin. That was t- Penguin 1.0, and that had a very uh, dra- dramatic impact on individuals. And, and a lot of sites suffered because of it, because they got caught with their hand in the cookie, j- cookie jar trying to game the system. Well... On May 22nd, the second version of Penguin hit, and uh, we were very, we were actually talking about it that that week on the show. Yep. And it's a very it has a, it has more of a drastic impact on an individual than possibly even the financial meltdown in 2008 because if businesses if your website has been removed from that index or so far down the tree it can't be seen, you are losing revenue. You're losing value. But if we learn anything about Penguin, it's that Penguin targets web spam. Most often, that web spam is in the form of unnatural and manipulative inbound links coming from other websites to that target website. So it's been one week since the, the Google Penguin 2.0 went, went live, and uh, Google's distinguished engineer Matt Cutts promised the new generation of Penguin would, would go deeper, and it seems to have lived up to that promise. Uh, have you guys, uh, Doug? You're you're over on, uh, on inside of marketing uh, or inside of uh, DK New Media. You yep. guys are doing a search engine optimization. Uh, a ton, a ton. Uh, have you seen some uh, some of these effects here coming in? We love it. I, I, I mean, every time every time that we see them uh, turn the screws a little bit tighter on yep. the quality. Um, the great thing that we see is that especially our small businesses mm-hmm. that had a hard time That's right. competing, we we see that they start to rise. And I think what, what's happening is a lot of these big companies, um, the temptation was too much. It, it yeah. really was. Yeah. The temptation was too much. And, and, and the fact was that you could buy your way into good ranking and, and, you know, there's nothing illegal about that, right? Yeah. So, so if you're faced with if we can spend, you know, five thousand, ten thousand dollars a month, and we can get a hundred thousand dollars worth of business out of out of it, right? Then why not cheat, right? You know, and 
uh, am I morally corrupt for that? Uh, you know, I, I don't know, you know, but, but the, the fact is it's nothing illegal, nothing, you know, mm-hmm. the, nothing from a regulatory and, you know, standpoint. So, and, and to so, the defense of some SEOs that also did that, forgive me, is, is that, um, everybody else was doing it. Well, it and was that part and, of the, and, the recipe. And that was it. Your competitors were doing it. And so you got tired and, and we honestly got tired of it. Right. We, mm-hmm. we were sitting there struggling and saying, you know, maybe we should just start cheating like everybody else is cheating and mm-hmm. and uh and you know i'm not going to say that we never did we did do some backlinking at one time and mm-hmm. it and it worked and and everything else um but when we started to pay attention to the quality of our content and yep. the output the frequency of the output and the quality of it that's when we saw stuff take off and then parallel to that social media really started to to take off that's right and so what we started to see was we started to get faster growth through social media you know than we were Mm -hmm. getting through search um if i could interject you're seeing that also search engines were paying attention to social media that too social media was was that too well and that's and that's why i wanted to bring it all together so 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 you have so you have the search engine quality is is improving right and then you have social media is now getting louder you have search engines starting to pay attention to social media that's right all of it combined is what's what's killed these SEO, you know, these black hat they call them, mm-hmm. you know, evil, you know, SEO guys. Mm-hmm. And um, and the great thing is, is the companies that had great content had a good story to tell, had good products and That's services, right. but couldn't compete, are now back into the competition again. So these so. so these these updates level the playing field. I don't think level, leveling. They're they're getting rid of some of the uh, the corruption though in there yeah. and, and kind of jettisoning and jettisoning their own old baggage. Google had a huge amount of content that they had spidered that that they need to get rid of because yeah. this was not pertinent or or not valuable. Yeah, so, the the average business doesn't realize, but large corporations were spending literally. Millions of oh, yeah. dollars that a was year. A, it was a billion, a four billion yeah. dollar industry. Yeah, or something exactly. Like that. Yeah, of of just gaming Google. Right. So you better believe it was out there. Some of the things that they hit, the paid link, paid text links that were using exact match on particular texts. So the link that said, uh, you know, uh, Greenwood Dentist or something like that for a lo- for a local dentist. Those paid links were passing some value. Comment spam, where you were actually getting some links on comments that you were posting on other people's blogs. Guest posts. On questionable websites, article marketing sites, links from dangerous sites, all those things are, are or have been part of the Penguin updates. So once again, there's a heavy usage of exact match anchor text, and that's one of the biggest culprits that this this particular update is going after. Yeah, because you want you want a natural backlink profile, and having Greenwood Dentist for right. all your links, that's people doesn't, don't link that way on the internet. They they, they would put. Right. Or your your company name mm-hmm. that, that that did not build your brand a little bit more. That's right. So, quite simply, Google searches play, places uh, put they they they, look, they put a premium on authenticity because yep. millions of sites have over optimized have been over not over optimized for top placement. Google is constantly looking for ways to verify the brand that's attached to that site in its corresponding ranking. See, Google doesn't want to overvalue or overrank a website that's nothing more more than a shell. Right. Google wants to provide users the best search experience possible, and, and doing this requires the search results to, to reward established brands with top rankings. So this is why Google Plus authorship tags are important, rich snippets and social signals. They're all part of the big SEO question equation that's out there right now. And if you don't know what those are, call site strategic. Absolutely. So, well, what Ping- Penguin has actually revealed is that Google is paying strong attention to brand and authenticity. Uh, Penguin 2, the message is clear. If you want to rank and drive real traffic, you need to build your online brand. Uh, you know, b- and you don't have to be a, a CNN or a Zappos or anything, any Coke. You don't have to have that level of brand. Basically, like I was talking about, if you're a local dentist trying to rank for your best keywords, you don't have to have, you won't ever have brand recognition equal to that of Apple. But you can have an amazingly strong web brand for your local market. And if you right. do, you're much more likely to rank. Yeah. And and the great thing is local, it's, it's hard for a, a major national brand to, to rank local on um, mm-hmm. you know yeah. really micro local terms so um so you actually have an advantage there 
You, you, you really do, and, and we're going to be talking a little bit more about authenticity uh, here in an upcoming se- segment, so you want to stay tuned. But the uh, inside of the local SEO space, we talk a, a lot about the importance of local citations and reviews, and that is directly dialed in to the authenticity that Google's looking for. So don't fear the penguin. <laughs> don't fear the penguin. For those of us in, in the SEO community, we use a lot of buzzwords and pithy phrases is like content and social is the new SEO. But the truth is, SEO is always evolving. you got to pay yep. attention to that. Is that and, and you have to challenge your SEO provider to evolve with that. Uh, definitely. You know, the focus is far more on branding and authenticity than on sheer volume of links. All right.